Hey everybody, welcome to day 28 of our fall back to feeling good 31 day challenge. Today we're going to focus on improving your hip, hip, hip internal rotation and flexion of your hip, which happens every time you take a step into the ground and load your entire body. So how we're going to do this is, you're going to get a pillow or something that's soft to put your knee on, get in a kneeling position just like this, and then what you're going to do is you're going to internally rotate this leg right here, and I'm going to use a kettlebell to kind of block my foot, you can use a doorway, something that's stable that'll keep your foot stationed right there, and I'm just going to gently drive this other leg back. So I'm going to do this is, all I'm going to do is take my pelvis, I'm going to kind of sit back, and come forward, just kind of sit back. And you feel a huge stretch right in here, really opening up that, that those uh, tissues. Sitting back, you can also move your change your hand position and kind of sit back right here if you want. You can also come over here and get even more internal rotation and really push your hips back. You can also have a little side to side movement if you want, or have a little rotation of your shoulders. But you can basically sort of play around with that and see what works best for you and find out where you're tight. Just really kind of work through those tissues and corners. You're not going to get a whole lot of motion through that, but it's vital to allow your pelvis to rotate over your fixed leg. So I'd probably spend at least about three minutes on each leg. And then the second exercise we're going to do is add a little stability and mobility in this one. So take a broom and imagine this is a doorway behind you right here. And all you're going to do, you're going to balance on your left foot and you toe touch with your right. And you're literally just going to turn your pelvis. Turn. I'm going to get a little here so I can touch. So I'm going to turn and touch. If I can get it right, there we go. Let's turn the pelvis and touch it, just like that. Turning and touching. So the thing you want to focus on is letting that left big toe stay flat on the ground and really just rotating and basically allowing this hip to rotate faster than your fixed leg because that creates a great internal rotation and loads your booty better, helping you function and be more successful. So I'd spend at least about three to four minutes on each leg doing that. Once that gets too easy, then I would step out a little farther and increase the distance. And then, and then basically you also can take this leg off the ground and add some more stability. Whoops. You can also take some, add some more stability. Touch and come back. See, I'm not very stable right there. Touch and come back. Touch and come back. Really challenging those internal rotator muscles. So you guys enjoy that and we'll see you tomorrow.